everybody, welcome to the State of the Channel here for Morning by Kalpenjo on the 12th of May 2023. And we just have a few things to cover here, nothing crazy. I just want to talk about the tutorials currently and the plans for 120, as well as what's going to be sort of in the 120 tutorials, as well as the 120 courses. And then just a little bit, tiny bit on more content, nothing too crazy. So as you might have seen, 120 pre-release 1 has just dropped. This means that I think I would expect that the release of 120 is probably going to be mid-June ish. Now, this might be a little bit earlier or a little bit later, but I would say that roughly in June is a very, very good bet. With this, the 119.3 and 119.4 tutorials are basically finalized. They're done. There's not going to be any more 119 tutorials on the channel. That means there's not going to be any new videos on Modding by Kaupenjo for about a week or two. And then I want to do some mod showcases in the meantime. Once again, depending on when, you know, 120 actually drops, you know, we're going to sort of extend the mod showcases through that a time where there's no tutorials basically coming out. And also very important that the 120 tutorials are not going to immediately start like the day after the release of 120. I'm going to take a little bit of time to go through the code because as I've already seen, I've, I've seen a few things in the pre-releases and stuff like that. There's quite a few fundamental changes again to things like item registration and stuff like that. So there's quite a few things to basically get right. And that's the whole idea why I don't want to start immediately. I think that that's pretty sensible. In addition to that, the 120 tutorials are going to be extensive as well as the 120 courses. So right now I have about 50 over 50 topics for the tutorials and I have almost 100 topics for the courses. So it is going to be a crazy tutorial and course season for 120. And what I'm striving to also have is a better production quality. So basically trying to explain things a little bit more visual as well while I'm doing it. I'm hoping that this can be done. Very important for the courses and the tutorials. If you can't pay for the courses or you don't want to pay for them or something like that, that's totally fine. Number one, there's plenty of things that are going to be free in the tutorials number one and number two all of the github repositories for the courses are always going to be free as well so you just don't get the video playthrough basically once everything drops there's going to be another announcement video all of that so no worries at all there one thing that is still open here is topic suggestions so i have a lot of topics already as you can clearly see right 50 over 50 topics for the tutorials almost 100 for the courses however if you have some topics that you might want to have covered you can still suggest them there is absolutely no guarantee that I will take them, you know, that I will actually add them as to topics to cover in the tutorials or the courses. Just do keep that in mind. But it is kind of interesting because I still do have some blind spots of where it's like uh, maybe someone wants a certain thing and I'm like, oh, that's really easy. But maybe you want a tutorial for that. So uh, do just leave me a comment down below. That is absolutely fine. And of course, there's always the shameless plug at the end. I always have some other stuff, more content here, fun Minecraft modded videos on Countenjo, youtube.com slash Countenjo. I also live stream regularly on Twitch, Twitch tv slash kaupenjo and the cut videos from those live streams are on kaupenjo tv so if you know if you want more kaupenjo basically you can have it and if once again if not then that is also totally fine right and that pretty much covers the state of the channel right now like i said about one or two weeks off then there's going to be some more showcases basically until the 120 tutorials start and uh, we'll then go from there also as always i want to thank all of you for the continued support the outpouring of support in the comments is I'm I'm always humbled to hear all of the positive stories from people making their first mods, you know, getting into Java, getting into modding. It is always a delight to see that. And I hope that this is going to continue for the 120 series as well. Other than that, I also want to thank my patrons for their support. Thank you so much and hope to see you all in the mod showcases. And then finally, when the 120 series starts. So, yeah.